Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I'm Amazingly Anatomical and I'm so excited to make videos on the human body and science in general. Today we're going to go into hormones. Ooh, ah. In a more scientific sense, we're going to explore the anatomy of the endocrine system and diseases and disorders that can result from imbalances in your endocrine system. As usual, all from the high school perspective. Let's dive in. The anatomy of the endocrine system. What is the endocrine system? Well, it is made up of a series of glands and organs such as the hypothalamus, pineal body, pituitary gland, thyroid and parathyroid glands, adrenal gland, thymus, pancreas, ovaries, and testes. The main job of this system is controlling your hormonal balance and metabolism, energy levels, growth, sexual reproduction, and responses to specific situations and emotions. The control center of the endocrine system is the hypothalamus. We have gone over the more traditional functions of the hypothalamus in previous videos, but in terms of the endocrine system, it is important to note that the hypothalamus secretes hormones that can hinder or aid the hormones in the pituitary gland. Also, it controls our water balance, sleep, blood pressure, appetite, and body temperature. The pineal body which is located in the middle of our brain below the corpus callosum, is responsible for the secretion of our sleep hormone, melatonin. The pituitary gland is below our brain and is the size of a pea. This gland is kind of like the master gland, in the sense that it controls a lot of the functions of the other glands in the endocrine system. The thyroid gland and parathyroid glands, located just below our voice box, are responsible for the regulation of our metabolism and calcium balance. The thymus, which is located in our chest, is responsible for the production of white blood cells, and these cells are responsible for fighting infections and destroying peculiar cells that enter our system. The adrenal glands, located on top of our kidneys, release the fight-or-flight hormone, simply known as adrenaline. Additionally, they release corticosteroid, the hormone that is responsible for maintaining and regulating our blood pressure. The pancreas, which is located behind the stomach, helps our digestion and secretes glucogen and insulin, hormones that regulate blood sugar levels. For women, the ovaries are located below the opening of the fallopian tubes, and they contain eggs needed for sexual reproduction and produce estrogen. For men, the testes are located in a pouch and produce sperm and testosterone. Well, hopefully you guys get the gist of the anatomy of the endocrine system. Now I'm going to be moving on to disorders from the endocrine system. Like other systems in our body, the endocrine system can face problems which lead to disorders and diseases. In the endocrine system, most of the disorders are hormonal based and occur due to problems in creating vital hormones and balancing hormone levels. The most common endocrine system disorder you guys probably are already familiar with is diabetes. At the very surface level, diabetes happens when the pancreas doesn't create enough insulin or there are problems with the insulin created. Please let me know if you guys want a more in-depth video on the different types of diabetes. Thyroid gland issues. The thyroid gland can also have several disorders such as hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. Hypothyroidism occurs when the thyroid gland doesn't produce enough hormones while hyperthyroidism occurs when too many hormones are created, resulting in chemical imbalances in our body. Osteoporosis. You guys probably are already heard of this in my skeletal system video, but in a more hormone sense, osteoporosis occurs when not enough estrogen is produced, which can cause a woman's bones to become weak and brittle. Men can have osteoporosis when testosterone gets too low, but it is common for females to develop osteoporosis. Speaking of low testosterone levels, men with low testosterone levels can also develop hypogonadism, and this can lead to erectile dysfunction. Also, low testosterone can lead to memory slash concentration problems, changes in muscle strength, and a low sex drive. PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome, also known as PCOS, can lead to irregular periods, extra acne and hair growth, and weight gain. Also, PCOS can lead to diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and infertility. Addison's disease. Addison's disease happens when the adrenal glands don't release enough cortisol. 
the stress hormone. This can lead to fatigue, muscle weakness, loss of appetite, weight loss, and pains in the abdominal region. And that's the end of the video. I know that was a lot of information, but if you're interested in learning about anything else, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you can, please leave a like and subscribe and check out my previous videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!